Hello, Bumpy McSquiggums here, and I am continuing with Weekly Runs series. That's right, this is a week nine. This is episode three. FTL's the game, and we're looking pretty darn good. We don't really have the best setup, but we're not too bad. The heavy reliance on drones leaves us with, well, the heavy reliance of drone parts, which we're not really getting. But that's okay. That is okay. We're going to hold fast to what we have right now. We're going to jump to here. And we're going to try to get as much out of this system as we can. We've done really well at utilizing every system that we've been in. This looks like a terrifying vessel. But perhaps we can get through it. We'll see. We have one drone. We will launch the drone. It seems the ships that we're fighting lately have been getting worse and worse. More and more problematic for us. So we are going to try our very best. Hmm. Try our very best to do as much as we can with what we have. Apologize guys, I'm trying to get the most out of that. Hopefully that hits four rooms instead of just three. And I think we're even going to use our bomb this time. So, here we go. Everything's ready, guns are hot, and we're going at it. Burn through their super shield first, and down it goes. And hopefully, there we go, we took out one of their weapons, or two of their weapons, I'm not sure, but weapons were definitely taken out. And in theory, we will get through it. Boom, we blew them up again. And we're actually going to stop our bomb from going off. And we're just going to focus on what we have going right now. And I think it will be enough. A pretty good feeling that we are now victorious in this first battle in episode 3. Two fuel, one drone, part 47 scrap. Wow, we are sitting in a really, really good position, guys. We are sitting in a good position. In fact, I almost have enough to power a level 4 shields. And once we get to that point... Short of mass missiles, we're, and well, well, really nasty boarding parties, we're, I would say, invulnerable, impregnable, invincible. But we're pretty nice. We're in a pretty good position. So, it's like another one of these. Ooh, this could be problematic. It's like we're going to have to drone fight these guys. They have the triple shields as well. As long as we are able to... Get some good blastage off. I think we'll be okay. Oh, I just had that. In a very good spot. Sorry, guys. High high end uh, gaming mice tend to make things a little bit challenging sometimes. All right. So we're gonna try to absorb as much. Oh, they're beams too. So if he never gets to our shields. So we should not have an issue whatsoever. We just took down his ion blaster. Though that was a heavy ion blaster, so that's relatively problematic. Alright, so we're going to try to do some damage to his shields then. I think one more... No, nope, we're going we're gonna to cancel it. We're not going to utilize it. We're just going to rely on what we already have and hope it's enough. And hope that it is enough. That is going to be our sincerest hope. And apparently it's enough. Victory is ours! Two fuel, one drone part again, 35 scrap. Ah, things are looking pretty good. We could really use a store for repairs, fuel. We don't necessarily need that much more fuel, though always get fuel if you can. We do need drone parts, though. Alright, so we're going to go closer toward our wonderful thing. Uh, man. Some things just don't want to give us a break, do they? Alright, let's see here. What would be the most beneficial? That's probably going to be the most beneficial. Use our bombs as well, looks like. 
Hopefully that doesn't land on our... Oh, it totally missed us. Which is fantastic. And we're going to throw one on their shields. Oh, we missed. Well, we're out of bombs. So now it is all down to... This is not good, actually. I don't know if we're going to be able to get through this. Oh, our engines just took a big hit. Um, I don't want to use the drone if I don't have to, but it looks like I might have to. Alright, so we're going to use the drone. We're going to vent our oxygen out into space. We'll repair it later. Unfortunately, we did have to use the drone, but... No, four missiles, one drone part, 25 scrap. I don't think so. Sorry, buddy. We need more. One fuel, one drone part, 38 scrap. Eh. Alright, let's close the bulkhead doors and go repair that. So we vent that into space, or into the rest of the ship. Hopefully there's some oxygen in there for my my boy, Mr. Mutanat himself. Oxygen is back up and running, and we'll wait a few seconds for this to go up. We really need a store. We're we're pretty we're pretty hurt, so to speak. We need a lot more drone parts. We're strong, but we're hurt. If that makes any sense. I mean, if you take a look, we have four shields. If they just have laser blasters, we're gonna be okay. But, oh, there is a store. I kind of wish I didn't do that now. But I believe I have some extra things I can sell to make some monies. So, we are going to do that. We're going to sell the Hermes missile. And the defense drone too, which people are going to be going, Oh my gosh, why did you sell that? Because I could. That is pretty much it. Hmm. Hard power on a whole missile to eh. Alright, so we're gonna get this, this, repair everything up. And yeah, that's that's it. I guess we'll get the missiles as well. There we go. So we're full health, we have four drones, nineteen fuel, two missiles. We're a little bit better off than we were. I will take it. There's another store there. Eh, we're going to the stress beacon. We are going to go to the service to investigate. You find a man living alone in a cave from the appearance of his wrecked ship. It seems he's been here for many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. We will leave the madman to his stuff. Because every time I bring him on board in the past, he has tried to... Actually, he's successfully murdered one of my crew members. So I'm not about to lose one of my crew members. If I can at all help it. And finally, a battle that will be relatively easy for us. I am excited about that. We're going to sit back and enjoy this battle because there's really nothing we have to really pay attention to or do. Just slowly whittle away at him. I suppose he could try to flee with his FTL drives, but... Let's, let's be honest here. That's not going to happen. He's never going to get through my four shields. And... Yeah, I just... I did that. So, he just lost half of his hull integrity. I mean... He is not looking very good right now. I would like to get some sort of burst laser, maybe. To couple with my, uh... Let's get rid of the bomb and get another burst laser. Couple with my ion blast. And my hull... My hull beam. I think that would be a very nice. Alright. Well, we're gonna jump to the exit at this point. So I don't feel like battling one of the uh, rebel ships or fleeing from it. We buy fuel for scrap. Yeah, you know what? We'll buy we'll buy six fuel for twelve scrap. That is a really good deal. And we are going to go to the next sector. It's the Zoltan homeworld. And I am okay with that. We are in Zoltan space once again. There is a store. I don't really have the means to utilize the store yet. We're going to go do a double jump to the store and then hopefully out. Which 
which may put us behind. I don't know. We'll see. Spade in our study. Aha! They want to kill. Oh boy. Oh, they have the means to take us out. So we are going to have to show them that we means business. <laughs> you see what I did right there? You see what I did right there? That's right. It was pretty funny. Alright. Let's move this here. There we are. Alright. And unfortunately we're going to have to use one of our drones. Alright. All that being said, you sir... Gonna actually, we're all gonna go group up in the weapon room. I think that will be sweet, sweet, nice. Okay. And we did not manage to take out what's happening. Oh, one of our guys is getting hurt, but it's okay. It is okay. So one of our drones just got taken out or something. I'm not sure what happened there. Ooh. We just took some hull damage. That's not good. Oh, and our drones got taken out. Hmm. So this is a kind of a nasty combination here. Um. Alright, let's send him back there. Tanat's fine. He's fine. We're gonna have to power this up and throw some bombs on him because we're not winning. So, if we're lucky... Alright, we took his shields down. Oh, we took a pretty nasty hit too there. But we're all sorts of messed up, all of us. No one is, is healthy right now. But we won that. That was a nasty fight there. That was really nasty. Three fuel, two missile, and 53 scrap. I don't know if that was... Ah, oh, here we go. Two missile, one drone part. 33 scrap and a system repair drone. Well, that's not so bad. That's actually not bad at all. Okay, so now we can go back to the store if we manage to do that. Take him off of repairing because, well, quite frankly, we don't need him to repair things. We'll have her repair because, well, it wouldn't be bad for her to actually be able to repair. A little bit quicker. Take a look at the level ups. If you guys didn't know, each person does level up as they do things. Splooch is a gold uh, pilot. Mutanad is almost a gold repairman and a pilot. He's also got someone fighting. Our shield person's almost gold shield. So, yeah, stuff is going okay. Things are going alright. Alright, we're going to jump to the store. And we're going to hope there's some sort of burst laser or something there that we can actually utilize. And there is not. And that sucks. But, at least we can buy up all that stuff, and it puts us at a little bit better position. Might have considered getting a cloaking device. Well, let's sell something. I, I don't want the system repair thing. Uh, basically, it's drone bots and repairs some of your hull integrity. For the drone parts, it's okay. It's not the greatest. It's not what I want to do, so I'm not going to do it. Alright, well, we have to outrun now. We're going to have to utilize the two jumps in the nebula. And hope that buys us some time. Alright. We can buy fuel. I'm going to have to ignore it. I don't want to waste my scrap. Technically, I don't have to go into the nebula. Hmm... If I go there, there. Eh. We're gonna go here. We're gonna we're 
gonna play it safe. We'll play it safe. We don't want to fall if we don't have to. We want to attack them. We want more shields. Oh, well, it doesn't look that that nasty. All right. Well, we'll wait on our hull beam until we see whether or not we can actually get through their shields. They should not be able to get through ours with their weapons. If I am not mistaken. Alright, looks like we have a chance to hit them. And hit them pretty hard, so we're going to take that chance. And we just did work. And they're going to go down. There's no way they can sustain themselves any longer. That would really tear me to shreds if that actually actually hit me, or could hit me, but it can't. And they're down, and we're victorious. One missile, one drone part, 28 scrap. Eh, not the greatest haul, but not too bad. Alright. We're going to leap forward. Alright, another battle. Doesn't look overly complicated or complex. However, it does look like it could be relatively problematic for us. If we're not careful, so we'll once again have to use a drone. I don't know how that's okay. Well, we're gonna probably eat a big missile, we'll see. Very nice. And did we manage to hit it? No. Nope. Well, this is gonna be painful if it actually lands on us. Four missiles, one drone part, 24 scrap. Um, no. Alright, well, he's about to go down right now anyway. There it is. 40 scrap, one drone part, two fuel. I prefer that though. The four missiles would have been nice. I would take the other stuff any day of the week. All right. So we're sitting again, still pretty, pretty good. There is a store. I could probably go to the store to the exit there, and then back to the exit. So let's go to the store and hope that we can get a weapon. And no, we cannot. We get a whole repair drone or a defense drone. Again, <sighs> not exactly what we're looking for. Oh, we'll buy everything out that we can, and we'll continue on. We will continue on. We have a lot of fuel now. We are decent on our drone parts. We can actually make the jump down to the distress and then the exit, so let's do that instead. I think that would be a very nice thing. Give them fuel. Oh, and they gave me the whole smasher laser, which is awesome. Equipment. And that's exactly what I want. Requires two powers instead of one. And just like that, ladies and gentlefolk, we don't have enough to power it yet, but that puts us in a much, much better situation. Alright, so I'm, I'm liking that, but until we can power that, let us switch our smart bomb thingy or small bomb back in and let us jump to the exit I'm not going to jump to the exit I'm going to be bold I am going to risk everything and go for one more battle alright so we're going to attack his shields we're going to get our laser to blast across the bow this way actually we're really fortunate. Alright. And why not? Throw a smart bomb in there. For good measure. Alright, let's see what they board us with. 
I like it. That'd be an easy victory for us. And we will absorb that. And they have nothing to really breach us with, so... We can turn that off now, and, well, that's going to be it. They're dead. They are dead in the water, as it stands. They have no way of surviving. I am not accepting surrender. Five fuel, one drone part, 33 scrap. It's okay, but no, sorry. You have to die. I need more scrap. I need to be able to power my laser beam. And there we have it. Oh look, we have another hull beam that we could actually activate too. It's kind of funny. Tell you what, if we could actually power that and it be viable, and we can get through the shield enough. Well, that would be pretty sick. That would be pretty sick. Double hull beam. Oh yeah, we made it. We made it in plenty of time. We can jump out. We're, we're looking pretty darn good. Oh, 26 scrap, another small bomb. What? This is just like, no words. No words can describe. All right, so we have that now. We're gonna switch back over here. And, yeah. So now we can power that up. And that will save us a little bit there. We need to get some power, though. We need to get a little bit more power toward our other dealies. So, that is going to be our goal. And we are going to jump into... Oh, we've gone through all the greens. Let's... We don't need to go through any more greens. Let's go through the rock control sector. Have a, have a little bit of a dangerous encounter. Alright, well this is going phenomenally well. Sorry guys, give me a sec. I want to check. 22 minutes. We should be able to get most of the way through this sector before we cut off the episode. I'm going to try to get as much out of this as I can. I would like to be fully decked out by the end of this, if I can help it. Oh, hello. Should not be able to get through our shields. Not worried. He does have a teleporter, though, so that's somewhat problematic, but, eh. Our whole laser, we'll focus fire it on that, and then we'll do one of these numbers here. Bring it on, who are you sending on board? Alright, let's take him out. Oh my goodness. Okay, I was wrong. Those are some nasty guns. Alright, well, let's power that up. We lost one of our weapons. Alright, he is fully repaired. We're gonna have to go uh, full out aggression on this one, so. As soon as we are victorious. Alright, so let's see here. We want that. Should be able to win, and he did. Back there, get him down here. Oh, will we dodge enough? Oh, just enough. Whew. Scary stuff. I, I wasn't thinking they could do that much to us, but man, they showed me. I was completely wrong. Oh my goodness. I was so scary. Ooh, that is awesome. I'm so glad I got that. What that does, it allows us to... I'll, I'll read it, actually. I, I, I have a rough idea, but I want to make sure I'm 100% right. I'm pretty sure it means that we start charging our weapons, or they start off fully charged. Something along those lines. One of those two things is actually true. We go to the equipment. They don't cost anything. There it is. Weapons are made immediately available after an FTL jump. So we start off fully charged weapons immediately. So that is going to give us a massive edge. We'll have to remember not to utilize our hull beam until we blast through their shields though. That's the one thing that we're going to have to keep an eye on. 
Also, we need oxygen. Alright, so let's get our oxygen levels back up. Everybody else is healing up. We made it through that pretty nicely. We do need some more power. So I'm going to utilize one more power bar. I'd like to get a few more if I can. And I will try to do so. But yeah, things are looking really nice right now. Really, really nice. We're at 70%. Uh, we're going to go here now, and see what befalls us. Another deal, he also can cloak, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. We will power up a drone, and as soon as he is out, we're going to fire everything we got right on his shields. If we can get through his shields. Which, it's not looking like we're ever going to get through his shields. Come on. Come on, get through the shields. You can do it. Oh, his missile is gone. Oh, and it missed us. Excellent. Alright, well that's unfortunate. Our whole beam is waiting to fire, but we can't get through his shields, so... This is becoming a problem. Our gunner is failing us a little bit here, I'm not going to lie. We're going to have to throw another drone into the mix. It's okay. And come on. Come on, oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fire everything you got, come on. Come on, stop missing. It's ridiculous how many times we're missing here. Alright, we'll vent that out into space. There, shields are down. Whew. Finally. Alright, let's get as much as we can out of this. Maybe the rock sector was a bad idea. Oh, come on! His shields got up that quickly? It's amazing to me that... Oh my gosh. That we cannot get through his shields. There we go. Finally, we did some damage. Oh, we did some good damage there. Beautiful, beautiful, sweet damage. Ah. No, no surrender. Not after all the garbage you put me through. Oh, it's terrifying. One fuel, one drone, part 41 scrap. Oh yeah, I know our O2's low. Turn the med bay on. You better repair that up quickly. Come on. Come on, repair, 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 repair. He did it. He is gonna go get some sweet, sweet oxygen. <gasps> oh, our oxygen level's off. Ooh. Oh. Whew. I forgot that I had to turn that off to power my stuff. So this is why power is very important. Alright, that should be enough that we should never have to turn our oxygen back off. I tell you, this stealth stuff is really starting to affect us negatively. Maybe that's something that we're going to have to save up for. Alright. Wow. That was close. That was pretty close. We just could not hit him. I can't believe that our, our gunner was that bad at landing shots. No matter what we did, we couldn't get through his shields. I had to use not just one, but two of my drones, and man. That was that was risky. That was pretty close. Alright, we're going to jump to our next spot. Hopefully, things go better this time. We're going to fight the ship. Alright, so... Maybe we can get through a shield, no? 
sure why we have a fire on board, but okay. Yeah, we, there it is. Oh, we got through the shield, but it went back up immediately. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Get through a shield. Get through, oh, another one of these things. There. It is done! Alright, so if we land that perfectly, there we go. Alright, we just opened ourselves up to some good stuff's happening. And in a couple more seconds, no, sorry. We are going to be victorious. Three fuel, two missile, 51 scrap. We need the scrap. We also need... Oh, well, that probably didn't help that our gunner was healing up the entire time. I did not notice that, and shame on me for not noticing that. Alright, so he is going to heal the hull breaches. Yeah, that was unfortunate. So that explains why that took so long to do, but we did manage it regardless. Utanot was taking a little coffee break in the med bay. It's fine. He is known for his coffee consumption. He is indeed known for it. Alright, well... We'll get him in the right position now. We are close enough to full oxygenation. We could go here, then there, and I think that's what we're going to do. We have a lot of really short-range jumps. It seems to be working well for us. There we go. 26 scrap and a defense drone mark 1. And a store. So we're going to jump here, here, to the store, then up and over. Get as much as we can before we get to the store, and maybe, just maybe, we'll have enough to buy whatever it is we want. Alright, so what I think we're going to do on this is we're going to attack them and if we are diligent with our amazing attacks which we are certainly going to attempt come on there that's what we're looking for all right so we want there's really no good way of hitting both the shields and What if we did this? That would do the most damage, I think. I'm not sure if that did do the, all the most damage. They're gonna have to deal with oxygen now. I'm just going to shoot right across the, the bow of their ship. Or their hull, or straight across the bridge. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to fire, then we got at them. And should be enough. Now, when they go to surrender, they're going to probably offer us a slave. Oh, that was unfortunate. And if they indeed do that... Oh, no, not the big missile. Oh, Always sucks when that hits. We will accept the offer. We won't get scrapped for it. Oh gosh, oh no, get out. Alright, so basically what we're going to have to do, <laughs> which is going to be terrible, is we're going to have to vent this all the way out into space. Because I don't really think... Oh, wait. We have our rock guy who can help put the fires out. Yeah, I know, shields are going to be critical and low. We're going to have him go in here and help with this fire. That's all going to vacuum out into space. It's not going to be a big deal. And now we close all the doors. And we now have a second combatant. Oh, I have a pause. I'm like, why are my people not going back to where they need to be? So now I have two combatants that can actually fight things, which is always nice. And we are going to get our shields back up to full. And yeah. So the downside is we lost scrap. The upside is we did get an additional crew member. 
don't necessarily need the additional crew member, but it's always nice to have one. So, why not, right? Why not indeed? Alright, so Sophia's excellent on the the Dealy. He's a good pilot. She's a good shieldist. I think she's a, yeah, she's a good shieldist. And Mutana's the man. Alright. So with that being done, we make our next jump to the Distress Beacon. Do we go there, that way? Hmm. No, I'm, I think I'm gonna... Uh. We're gonna go here first. Oh no, Silver Flare. There's a Rock Fighter. And he's got quite a few weapons. So we're gonna blast what we can on him. He's not gonna board us, so we're just gonna lay everything we got on him and see if we can take him down immediately. Alright, so we're gonna fire like up in this general direction. Hopefully that did some work. Looks like it did indeed. And if we can just not eat a missile. Well, oh, looks like we need a missile anyway. Oh, right on our pilot. The rock man's gonna have to go put that fire out. We can vent this one out into space. Alright, while he's down, we got one fuel, one drone, part 42 scrap. Which is fantastic. Oh, we can't jump yet either. Oh. Hopefully it hits. Uh, it's not a terrible spot. Alright, hopefully it hits in a good spot. Uh, it, it hit in an okay spot. Not the best. If that does end up getting damaged down, it's okay. Yeah, not the best, but it's okay. Hopefully it doesn't... Oh, it did get damaged. Come on. We're gonna have to jump to the distress beacon. We will lead them to their destination, which is fantastic. And we will close all of the doors. We will turn on the oxygen once again. And where is our buddy? Mutana needs to get up there and repair that. I suppose these guys could chill in the uh, infirmary. Why not? They could sit back. If Mutana, if Mutana can go on a coffee break, why can't they? Good old Charlie and Jarek. Or Gurik. Gurik. Alright. We are ready to jump to the store at this point. I don't think we're going to be able to get to that quest location. We'll try, though. Alright. I think we're going to go with the cloaking thing. I think that's going to be a good idea. Hmm. Oh, the other one was system repair. Okay, this is a power a hull repair. I apologize. I think I had those backwards before. I'm not going to need any more fuel. And I don't think I need missiles. Wow, we really took a lot of damage. We're going to fix it all, and then we're going to sell the additional stuff that we don't need. And we're going to buy ourselves the cloaking. So there we have it. Ah, kind of wanted the crew teleporter too, but... Oh, maybe we will make it. Ah, I don't know. It's going to be pretty darn close. Wish there was a nebula here to slow him down. Oh, a rock fighter. Alright, so let's see. What do we have? We have the ability to cloak. So we're going to turn off the med bay. And we're going to... murder your shields with a reckless abandon. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Hmm. 
Alright, so... Let's see here. We can hit... Like, all those rooms. And do massive damage, and yeah. Keep the Iron Shell there, we'll switch over to weapons. We're gonna move him away. And that worked out pretty good. Eh, took a little bit of damage, nothing overwhelming. And down he goes. Two fuel, one drone part, 63 scrap, that puts us in a nice spot. And we are gonna hold out. Alright, let's see. If we jump there, we're not gonna make it. Even if we <laughs> even if we don't jump there, we're not gonna make it. We're gonna have to deal with a fleet ship. Which is never a fun thing. Alright, so this looks like it's just as nasty as that first one that we fought. Alright, so we got him down. Let's see if we can keep him down. Oh, bull. That is bull malarkey. That is bull malarkey in its finest. This is going to hurt a lot. Oh. Perfect timing. Alright, that's no longer going to hurt at all. There we go. Well, that was a pretty nice. Three fuel, two missile. Eh, good stuff. We murdered him so quickly that he had no time at all to recover or survive it. So, yeah, it's kind of nice. I must admit. Alright, well, we need to turn our oxygen back on and we gotta get our people healed up. Sophia. Sorry, Kimiera did get slapped around by a giant missile at some point, so we'll move her back into position. And. We're going to jump again. Fortunately, we're going to jump within the confines of the fleet catching us, so here we are. And we have an elite fighter, but the good news is we actually don't look that weak in comparison to him. And it looks like he is going to attempt to board us. Indeed he did. We can just get through his shield. Bump that out to space. Bump through the shield. didn't hit. Both of them missed. Are you kidding me? Alright, well we can close the doors up again. Alright. So we're going to turn that off. So we can actually get through the shield. We're going to dodge his missile by stealthing. Gotta keep firing on him. And there we are. Finally we hit it. And, oh, we only got two parts of that, and that's kind of unfortunate. Hopefully here, get it right before, oh, oh, we got one. Did he fire his missile? Oh, not yet. Oh, there it is, dodge that. All we need is to get a shield, one lower. There we go. Let's keep it there. And boom. Now we're doing damage. Now he's done. So it's not the end of the world when you're this powerful to actually battle with the fleet. It's kinda nice. It's gonna give us extra scrap for murdering it. And we'll be able to jump out with no problem. Uh oh, extra fuel, I guess. Alright, now we go to the final sector and the boss fight. We're gonna go hop into that, and then we're going to double check up on our wonderful, fun, fantastic... We're going to skip this. If you guys want to read it, I'll 
give it a few seconds between each page. But essentially it's saying the command ship's going to be here any second. We're actually going to have to end this episode because I went way over time. I thought I still had probably two or three minutes. I lost track. This is episode three, I want to say, of the weekly runs, week nine, FTL. We're on the final level and we're going to actually get to fight the boss. So what a way to succeed at the weekly runs. I've had quite a few failures, so it's kind of nice that we're made it. That we're, that we're made it, guys. That's right. I said we're made it. That we've made it this far, and that we're going to at least get to see the final boss. And that we're in an okay position. It's not the best. It's not the worst I've been in. So we'll see how it all plays out, guys. So if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. I will be putting week ten up as well, relatively soon. It will be Dungeons of Dreadmore, and then I will do week eleven next week. I know I'm still like one week behind. I'm trying to catch up. It's just putting up all the content plus the weekly runs tends to be somewhat difficult at times but I'm making it happen I'm making it happen so I will see you guys in the very next episode and victory or defeat will follow so you take care guys and I will see you then